Um, okay guys, so um, after doing the inner frame, we have found that um, the Mr. Surface Primer is better. So what I did literally was, I took the whole runner and then primed it. So right now it's very smooth and I did it on the underside too. And why did I do it this way instead of um, priming it individually because um, the can is very small and I only got myself two can of the Mr. Surface Primer so if I were to spray it individually uh, definitely I wouldn't have enough um, to spray everything so yep we have a total of uh, six runner for this and good enough um, I use up just one can for this six runner so, could I say that a can of Mr. Surface 1000 is um, good enough for a 6 runner? Or was it because I just didn't like prime it e evenly for, for the back parts? Because I mainly focus just on the front parts. Like, um, you could see parts like, like the shoe for example. Everything is it's, it's prime. Because um, like I mentioned that um, the shoe is the sole of this kit, so um, if it looks sucks, then it's like GG to it because um, the shoe is like so big and and it's one of the main main thing that people are looking for when you're doing a Sinanju. And other than those, um, what I'm left with is the weapons and the fingering. I mean the finger. So. Um, I really hope that um, this thing turned out well and what do we have on the other side is I'm not sure whether do I want to have this stand up anyway it's on it's, it's very cheap it's like on 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 offer it's just like a five dollars and yep more weapons and the decal and the that's all yep so um, let's move on with painting um, cut I mean I'll just cut this out first and then I'll move on to painting it Okay guys, um, welcome back to another review of my OVA Sinanju 1 slash 100. So what we have here is I, um, after priming the parts, I cut them out and then I move on with um, painting them chrome. And before that, I actually um, mask out all those parts like I did on the inner frame. So uh, there's lots of parts right here. It's a total of 104 parts. So, um, another thing I would like to mention in this video because um, was, um, like you all know that I actually used that I uh, used the um, spray paint instead of airbrushing. So, um, one thing to take note of was actually um, we all knew that for a spray can the consistency of the spray uh, of the pressure is not the same. So um, when you are using a fresh can of the paint, um, most likely the paint will be very rich and um, it will be very thick and towards the end of the can, um, the color will most likely uh, be dull and, and the pressure will be lesser and the volume come out will be lesser which will result in a, how should I say it? which will result in a, a different tone of color. So what I did now was, if you were to look carefully on the way I line up those parts, so uh, what I did was I get a, a new can of spray, the chrome, and I started with all those um, parts that is curved, therefore it will be more shining, and then I will just do it accordingly to um, this batch, and then go to here, and lastly we will end up with all the parts with the flat surfaces and um, surprisingly I only use um, one spray of can to do um, two coating so uh, eventually um, I will just show one example this will be how it looks like after two coat um, pretty much this is what I want to obtain at the end of the, the whole thing and let me zoom in to get more uh, image of it I mean a better view of it Okay, so um, after zooming in, you get to see the parts clearer. It, it have this um, very nice finishing, and some of the parts it's very chromey. Um, that's the part for a head. 
and I think pretty much yeah, um, it's not bad. I hope that I won't run on the red because I have not yet really decided on um, what kind of red I wanted. So after this, I will go through some of the um, test color that I wanted to do for my red. And why not you all let me know um, which your thing is better. So pretty much I will end this chrome part here and then we will move on to the red part so see ya later and seriously I like those chrome 104 piece in here wow that's a lot it used up all my stick and just a little view on, on my blue Sinanju and the inner frame of this Sinanju here so let's move on to the red part then Okay, um, so let's move on to the color selection. So like I mentioned, I have not yet decided on what color do I have because um, just show a brief example of what do I had for my um, HG St. Andrew. This is the kind of uh, titanium um, red I had and I, I scratched scratch this while putting on it. So um, pretty much this is one of the choice and that's how it looks like as in Yep, so um, I had test a few pieces. Um, first is this. Um, I actually use uh, a gold and a um, gold base and then spray it over, but I don't think I like it, so I already painted the chromes. And next, um, this seems to be pretty um, dull as compared to this part, so I'm not sure whether to use it. And I tried something special. Um, because I would like to try something with tone so what I did was if you could see that at this angle it's totally gold and if you were to see from this angle it's pretty red so I'm not sure how will this look like um, it looked pretty nice to me because I could like for example uh, places like um, the back of this part I could make it towards this part do this color and then the rest of the back skirt will be something like this and the last color I tried was this. Um, it looked very yellowish because um, what I did was I, I used the same method on this and then I sprayed a very light coat of clear yellow on towards the top parts. And if you were to see carefully from here, it's the normal red. But if I were to tilt it slowly up, it somehow become um, yellowish towards the top you see this is white reflect just the normal chrome and when it go up it reflects the yellow more and more so um, I think this look pretty good I may go on with this um, let me know how do you all feel because um, this might just be my opinion but um, I'm not sure about um, the camera wise because um, in my I mean let, let me off the light and see is there any difference okay um, on on okay I don't think this is working okay. because um, what I see from my naked eye was um, this is red and this is orange and this is yellow so I I am not sure will it present well on the camera so do let me know because I will be working on this maybe one or two days later after the cone it's I mean a chrome it's fully dry and I will do one coat of red first and then we will decide on um, what do we really want so um, I may be picking one or two so um, why not you all let me know what's your decision by comment in, in this video like um, this is number one and this is number two and let me know which one you think uh, will be a better choice for um, this Sinanju so let's say um, this is color and that's how we should fare it as in compare it but if I were to pick the other one, it's something like this. I mean, of course I won't do the go that much, I'll just do a little bit of the tip. And it gives some reflection like this. So, um, do let me know uh, what's the opinion for, for you guys on one or on two for this Sinanju. So, um... Thanks for watching and let me know one or two will be a better choice for this Sinanju and I will post some um, 
working process video on the color scheme that I picked for this kit so you could have a better view on this then. So see you on, on the next review then. Bye. ที่เธอแค่เพียงสบตา